take one. Subtest two. C set. Back to work. Looking at this question, what you need to know is that for any kind of vector, let's just say we have a vector v, which has the form of a comma b. The magnitude of any vector is going to be just Pythagorean theorem, square root of a squared plus b squared. And if we had to solve for the angle, we'd be doing some kind of trig statement. For instance, one of the ways of doing it is tan inverse of y over x, or b over a. And that would equal your theta. Now, negative 3b. Let's just think about it being 3b. Ten is the hypotenuse, or the magnitude, and then we have our angle, or our direction. So 3b would be three times as large, and negative 3b is going to be in the exact opposite direction, three times as large. So the magnitude of this is going to be 30, and if that's 30, this is also 30 degrees. And what we have for finishing this up is a little 30, 60, 90 triangle to take care of. Divide by 2 to get the short leg, and you have 15. Multiply by root 3 to get 15 root 3. Last thing we have to deal with is positives and negatives. The x-coordinate is negative, as is the y-coordinate. So we have negative 3b equals negative 15 root 3 comma negative 15. That's our final answer and we have answer A. It should make sense that all of these x and y coordinates are negative because if we were in quadrant 1 for v, negative 3v will have to be in quadrant 3 where both the x's and the y's are all negative. The alternate way to have done this would have been to write the vector v to begin with and vector v is just 5 root 3, comma, 5. And we could have multiplied it by negative 3. Multiplying this by negative 3 and distributing this out, we get the same value of negative 15 root 3, comma, negative 15 for your final answer. You take whichever way you prefer. By the way, whichever way you prefer says a lot about you. This way is a little bit more visual. And this is a little bit just more of kind of equation based or number crunching. And if you're enrolled in one of my classes, be sure to tell me which way you prefer because I have two different styles of teaching based on your preference there. Okay, if you understood this, you should be able to do the two follow up questions. Almost a guaranteed question on your C set. Congratulations, you just got another point, question right.